Today is finally burn day and we're going to get rid of some of these piles. We've got permission to burn. We called the fire department first and they told us we just had to call the sheriff's department, let them know. Since it's not too windy today, they're going to allow us to burn. We just have to let them know when we're done for the day. This here is some of the tree branches and trees that we've cut down and tried to haul over here. And we'll work on some of that. If we can get to some of that stuff, that would be nice. We're burning in the fire pit the brush that we can. And then over here, we're running the hose just to get the ground wet as a precaution is where we're going to burn. And of course we have a wet child. Here's our other one playing in the water. It's a really beautiful day for being November. Can you say hi? Can you say cheese? Does his own thing. Okay, that water's cold. This is the pile that we're going to try to work on today. Damon's really excited, it sounds like. We're gonna get these couches down there and then when it's done, we'll just sift out with a rake and get all the metal out of there. There's this pile here that we may try to take some of this stuff. But here is the junk pile. This has been here for many years and it has not been burned. So it's time to start hauling this stuff over there and burning. Every time we use this little trailer, we have to air up the tire on it. Here's a bunch of stuff the chickens have uncovered since we moved them over here that you couldn't even see after we had used the weed eater on it. Branches. There's a front to a fan, all the sticks everywhere, plastic of all kinds. He's scared of the fire. spectator section over here. Is that a fire? Is it hot? Is it hot? Uh 
Oh. That is hot. Say hi. Ow. Hi. Here's our second fireman over here. <laughs> See. He's got to work on his car using his ramp. Turn the wheel just the other way, the other way. Okay. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Turn it the other way. There you go, stop. Look who backed up. I couldn't back up. We didn't put air in fast enough and the tire popped off the rim. So I wanted this big reveal that we'd have this whole yard cleaned up, but it didn't work out that way. We got about six trailer loads out there and it's still going, but we're gonna quit loading it up for the day so that it can kind of burn down all the way. And there's a long story of how we got the property and some legal problems that we had to get through to get where we're at and to be able to get this property. So while we were out here working, the guy that we had to give the right of first refusal to stopped by and he, was telling us how he could tell how much we'd gotten done and he was friendly with us which is saying a lot if you know the backstory to this and so we're kind of on cloud nine right now feeling like we're actually doing something right we're getting somewhere and really exciting to start to mend that relationship between the people that own the property next to us and us so we're hoping in the future that the good relationship between the two of us continues and it isn't what it has been in the past for my grandparents. Here is where the two couches were. There's a bed frame there that at one time my grandma wanted but I think if she doesn't we're going to use it as a trellis for some vines and we got quite a bit of the wood from over here. Still got a whole stack to go. We only worked a little while on that pile there. So we only got a little bit from that pile and we'll have to work on that another time. And there's our fireman. And here's the fire. It's been burning for about four hours now. We're gonna let it just kind of go down and then right around dark we'll go ahead and put it out all the way. So we will have to come in with a rake, get all the metal out of there. We're gonna have to start another pile for metal. 
and then get some sort of magnet to pull any nails that have came out of some of these boards. We've used this tree as target practice for several years when we'd come out here and a lot of brush had came up here from the rain this summer and springtime so we did get quite a bit of this pulled out of here. I'll try to get closer on this tree here and show you how dead it is. This goes all the way over the creek. Here's the other side of the creek that's not as pretty. It feels like it's so hard not to get discouraged when we feel like we have so much to do and we just feel like we're not making progress. So that's why we're trying to document what we are doing so we can look back and see what it looked like before and how much we really are getting done. We really are making progress. It just doesn't feel like it one day at a time. Here's how much brush got taken from here. We'll cut these logs down and either use them for the fire pit or save them for when we get a wood burning stove. It's just so beautiful though. Once we get all this cleaned up and we can just enjoy this, it'll be so nice. Are you driving? What happened to your steering wheel? Junkyard find right here. True brothers. Damon, no. No, stop. You want to see the appropriate way to use a compost bin? What are you doing? <coughs> what are you playing in? Are you playing in chicken poo? No. Do you want to play in chicken poo? <coughs> Hi guys, what are you doing? Damon, that is so gross. You say chicken poo? Poop. Are you playing in poo? Poop. One day our goal is to have this looking beautiful when we walk out the front door.